Moo Moo, is you lazing? Lazing, lazing. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Good day, everyone. Aja here from Pandemonium. It is kind of a cloudy day. It started out a little sunny, but the clouds have rolled in. But I want to go exploring, and then I'm going to work on the roof before it rains, hopefully. I don't think it's going to rain, though. Yeah, boom, boom. Go. <laughs> Gotta be careful. There's some big holes in the trail. That that would hurt if you twisted your foot down in there. This camp spot is near a lake, but it's not right on the lake. It's a short walk to it, so not too bad. the speed demon are you the speed demon <laughs> so we've made it to the lake are you kidding there's a, a leftover chair oh my god now that's just sad there is trash everywhere Ugh. that's a shame I guess some people were having a party. There's more trash right by the shoreline. And the chair. Well, I, don't, I don't understand the chair. Seems like someone is appreciating the water. There's someone out there fishing. I know. Look at it. was like, what? What is this thing? This doesn't belong here. No. Good girl. It's not really big down here. I guess it's just a hangout spot for maybe the locals or something. But there hasn't really been anybody back here since we've been here. And this is our second day. There was a truck that came through late last night, but that's the only vehicle I've seen since we've been here. What you think, Mumu? You ready to go back? <laughs> so we are going to head back. That was kind of short-lived because I thought it was a longer path, but there were trails on each side, but they weren't long trails. They didn't go that far at all. So we're going to head back to the RV. I have that um, roof repair that I have to get on anyways. Here. What? Would you like some corn on the cob? What the heck is... <laughs> what the heck is that? I was cleaning up garbage, and there's a whole pile of corn on the cob. Oh, my goodness. That thing looks ew, nasty. Yeah. I think we'll both pass for dinner. Mm -hmm. Luckily, it was an overcast day, so I was able to get up on the roof, and it wasn't hot, and clean up the um, caulking, and also reseal it. So I'll go ahead and get up there and show you what I did. This is what it used to look like. Yes, I know, it's a big mess. But these ones over here aren't leaking. I don't have a problem with those. I've already checked. But that's a lot of caulking. Like I said, I was inexperienced when I was doing it and I just smushed a bunch of it on there <laughs> and hoped for the best. So I cleaned up as much as possible. I'm going to still clean up some more. But what I did this time is I put a bead of caulking on the underside and then also on the underside of the plate on each hole then I mashed it together and I also put caulking inside the hole and when I mashed this plate down the caulking um, pushed up so I knew I was getting a good seal and then I put the bolts in and tightened those down and then I caulked the top of the bolts so uh, it's um, <laughs> much better this way 
not as much caulking because um, the problem with it is when you use too much caulking water can build up in those areas and it doesn't have a chance to get out or dry out so I think that's where my leak was and plus this is a low point of the roof right here and water seems to collect here and that's what my problem was so I cleaned all the debris there was some debris back here and I cleaned out all of that and got everything good Scotty got up here and checked my work and he helped me clean some of the debris back there. We also checked that other vent back there because I thought it might be leaking but um, it's not, it's good. It was just coming from this spot right here and now that it's all cocked and cleaned I'm glad and because we're supposed to be getting rain I think a storm is coming and we are getting ready to leave here because we're on dirt road and I know this can get really nasty back here if it rains and it's supposed to be a big storm coming and we don't want to be stuck back here. So I've got all my tools cleaned up. Now I have to pack up and we're going to get on the road. I had placed this panel up while working on it. Yes, they are on hinges so they can go up and down. So I just placed that back down and it's in travel mode. The next time I get in the spot, I'm going to do a better job and clean this entire roof off. And I, there's more ceiling that I want to do, like um, all these edges here. And I'm going to reseal around um, vents and the air unit and stuff like that. This is what we're worried the entrance road will become. And it is clay, so... That will be very slippery and a mess, so we do not want to get stuck in that. And since it's clay, it seems to hold the water on top. Lay down in your bed. Alright, let's get out of here before it starts to rain really bad. Don't want to be stuck back here. Alright, well, we're almost out. I can see where... Right onto Blue Springs Road. Thanks, Bev. I can see where that road could get really bad because there were... I mean, it hasn't even rained yet and there were some really bad spots um, coming out. Just like uh, what we passed. Yay, we made it. Roger. Continue on Parks Mill Road for three miles. I know it's the clouds are really dark. I'm glad we left because yeah, yeah. it's supposed to be a big storm and I can imagine that becoming really messy back there. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It wasn't going to get any better, that's a fact. Yeah, and I mean, um, because there's already some bad spots that you have to slowly go through, so yeah, I can it imagine just, it getting worse shoot. than that. Um, so yeah, if you want to go to the one 40 minutes away, that's fine. I didn't realize, okay. you know, Terry just looked up the quickest one, but we might as well. Yeah, the quickest one is north, so um, I would that would take us out of our way. We okay. can just go 45 minutes up the road and um, okay. there's a spot we can stay at. Okay. 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 I mean, I'm going to grab a water out of the back and then I'll, I'll walk it on the radio. All right. This is the Cracker Barrel. I was looking at 25 minutes away. I um, don't want to go into that storm. Well, look, there's one that's 40 minutes away right here right, but where right is... before Atlanta. So okay, if so... we decide we want to go through Atlanta early in the morning, at least we'll be close. 
at this storm again right now. See what it's doing. So it's still kind of hanging there, getting closer to us. Yeah, but it's coming this way. It's coming towards us. Right. All so we're that's not gonna. Coming this way. Yeah. So we're not gonna escape it. But I mean, I think we can. Um, okay. You Make it, this? yeah. Because okay. I pref I'd prefer to get as close to Atlanta so we can um, get out of there. If we're leaving in the morning, okay. we can go through because you remember the traffic. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah, those storm clouds look pretty bad. So I'm glad we're leaving. Bound. We're going through Buckhead. Turn left onto Seven Islands Road. Seems like a smaller town. Oops. Boop, boop, boop. Gotta go this way. Continue on Seven Islands Road for one mile. We made it back to I-20. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-20 West. Thanks, Beth. All right. made it here to Walmart and I'm probably just gonna relax the rest of the night. I did go up on the roof and check and make sure that everything was okay with the seal that I did and I checked inside the cabinet where it had been leaking and there is no leak. It was annoying because it was also dripping onto my bed and I had to put a bowl here and it was just aggravating so I'm glad that that problem is fixed and no more leak. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Love you guys out there. Bye for now. Mwah.